huge barbecued squid to tiny fried crabs, we're about to devour another iconic Asian city. We are the Lockwoods, and we're traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise see only in textbooks and TV. On our current trip's last full day in Southeast Asia, we're exploring the food, culture, and people of Indonesia at the annual month-long Jakarta Fair. This is the Indonesian capital and the most populous island in the world, so we're searching for the most highly recommended sights and bites that represent the vibrant flavor profile of this captivating city. Let's get to it. We flew from Cebu to Manila to Jakarta and everything arrived except for my suitcase, which means this is literally all I have to my name here in Jakarta. So we have to go and get some essentials. And of course it's only Aaron's suitcase because that's the only one that doesn't have an Apple AirTag on it or have any capability for us to apparently track it even though it has a built-in tracker. You guys ready? We flew in on Philippine Airlines and they don't actually use the barcode system to track bags. So they have no clue where my suitcase is. We've been texting with baggage services at the Jakarta airport and also DMing on Instagram with Pavel Airlines themselves. But so far, no luck. And I am in very dirty clothes. I need some essentials. Fortunately, our hotel is right above a shopping center, so we can just literally go downstairs to try to find some stuff for her. I don't have any single item that's really high value in my suitcase, but it's a lot of stuff and it really adds up. I've got mine and Phil's snorkel gear. I've got all of my toiletries, my clothes, shoes, my only pair of tennis shoes at all. So I have to have so many things replaced, but for now, I just need a new set of clothes and maybe a few toiletries. Erin's probably being a little bit modest because some of her clothing is not cheap, plus she had some borrowed clothing from June Ruby. Our snorkel equipment, masks, snorkel are probably 250 bucks each, not to mention the suitcase, which is about 400 bucks on its own. All in all, I bet we're talking about thousands of dollars. And so many little essentials like makeup and moisturizer, but it's frustrating when you're in another country and they don't have the brands that you're used to. But we only have two more days left in this trip, so I just need to find an outfit to be comfortable on the plane ride home and to wear today to the fair. All right, what do you think? Is pink my color? All right, let's check out. We got our loot. Now let's go change and head to the fair. Oh. God, it's so weird to not have my deodorant. My shavers, my makeup, my clippers, my tweezers. Just so many things I miss right now. But now I have a new dress. Let's hit it. Gotta flag down a taxi. There's about a 23 minute drive to the expo where the fair is. Jakarta is the economic, cultural, and political center of Indonesia. It was established in the 4th century. Jakarta is one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in Southeast Asia. The fair is in Kimayoran, which is one of five distinct districts that comprise Jakarta. This one used to be known for the Kimayoran airport, but now it's been transformed into the central business district. I think we must be getting close. There's a ton of orange tents lining around this area. I feel like we're leading up to it. It already feels, looks, and smells amazing. Look at all these vendors we haven't even entered yet. And I'm like, ooing and aahing, oh, and tripping all over the place. It is hot, it is humid, but it's beautiful, it's colorful, and I can't wait to dig in. We've been saving our appetites all afternoon. And I keep checking if there are any new updates on my luggage. No luck yet. We have no idea where to go. We have very specific tickets because this is a fair and a concert venue. So our tickets were only for the, the food and the culture and the clothing and the expo part of it. And we only paid 40,000 rupiah and that is about $3 USD per person. But the concert tickets are more. Those start at 100,000 rupiah and I think that might be like $7 USD. Looks like a little bit of a line to get in already. Glad we got here a little bit early. It is 3.13 and our tickets are for 3.30, so we just have to wait a little bit till they open the gates and let us in. I'm most excited about getting churros because they're really common around the, in Asia and they're easy to make and they're on their yum yum. That means delicious and on nom nom. The security guard over here is gonna tell us if we're in the right line or not. Ah, this one, you would. 
Okay. Three. Three. Pink. Oh, yeah. Good? yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ten minutes. There we go, baby. We're good. He said we're in the right line. With a population of almost 11 million people, and by the way, I think they're almost all here today. This is also the biggest city in all of Southeast Asia, and it makes Java, where we are now, the most populous island on the planet. This is her new iPad because she unfortunately left her iPad on a flight when we landed in Hong Kong a few days ago. Ooh, we're starting to move. There's not a destination we visit where the locals don't warn us about everything from personal safety to food poisoning. And we take that input seriously. We've dealt with health issues ranging from multi-day stomach bugs in Vietnam to emergency surgery on our way out of Mexico. Yeah, those were both me. These medical situations can happen anywhere, and that's why we rely on Safety Wings travel medical insurance for peace of mind. Our travel schedules always be changing, so it's really hectic to keep track of all our countries and dates. That's one reason Safety Wings travel medical insurance is perfect for our needs. We can get covered even if we've already left on our trip and we don't have to know the exact dates or countries we're traveling to. One of the worst parts of most insurance companies is the generally poor customer service. But that's never an issue with Safety Wing. Their website's fun and easy to use, whether you're signing up for a policy in just a few minutes or trying to get help with an issue while you're traveling. With Safety Wing, you get connected with a real, helpful, friendly human being within a matter of seconds. And here's a cool tidbit. Their policies even cover trip interruptions, trip delays, and get this, lost checked luggage. If you always have that little worry in the back of your mind when you're traveling to exciting destinations and you'd like a lot more peace of mind for your upcoming trips, you can head over to followabc.com insurance to get a free quote right now. Based on these crowds, it should come as no surprise that this place bills itself as the biggest, longest, most complete fair in Southeast Asia, right? Oh, there's AC. Oh. It's held annually in June and July to celebrate the capital's anniversary, which falls on June 22nd, and today is June 22nd. So we are here on the big celebration day. Hey, do you yeah. guys want to Donuts are a typical American breakfast. This is their take on it, and they spell it a little bit differently. Vanilla, vanilla donut. Okay, thank you. Ooh, Oreo. Brooklyn, does that taste like a donut in the U.S. or is it different at all? I've never had an Oreo donut in the U.S. So, does it taste different at all, or does it taste like a donut you might get in the U.S.? Does it taste like a donut? Just like, like not as sugary, more like bready, like bread. Ah. That's my kind of donut. Well, hey, that's the first item off of our list. Still so much left. Now we head outside. <laughs> I don't want to lose the air conditioning. It's so loud here. I'm shouting. Can you even hear me? And we have no idea what they're saying. They could be trying to sell us more donuts or they could be telling us to head for the exits. You don't know. There are vendors from all across the country that are peddling everything from specialty food items to handmade arts and crafts to motorcycles. It seems that the speaker setup strategy here is just turn the volume all the way to 10. It's so loud! I can't hear myself think and everybody is shouting into the microphones and it's blasted full volume. I think I'm starting to get a feel for what's going on with the sound. Every vendor here is trying to be louder than the next. They're trying to get everybody's attention. That's why they're turning these speakers up full blast, using noisemakers, anything to cut through the noise, which is absolutely impossible. Colt's looking for some tea. He's in the mood for tea, but every place seems to be selling a set, at least three. Should we just get three? Okay. I got strawberry tea. This one because the ones that are just one fruit, like specifically lemon and apple, just taste like juice. But this one tastes like tea. Actually glad that we got the set because it came with this little bag, which is great because I have no purse. Why didn't you just bring a purse? Because my suitcase is missing. And still no update. I found egg crust. This was number one on my list. It's Karak Talor in Indonesian. And it's kind of like an Indonesian omelet. But it's got like coconut flakes and stuff like that on it. Hello. Can we get one um, Karak Talor? I would like to egg try crust. Two. One. Three. Yes. Two. Two. Three. Oh. Smells 
cheesy. Not weird. I mean, it smells like cheese. It's a little weird because there is no cheese. Tastes like, didn't give me coconut, I gotta try a bigger piece. It's a mixture of glutinous rice and egg and topped with coconut flakes, shallots, and dried shrimp. It's really good, it's really like an omelet, but the rice makes it like kind of cakey. Like, um, not a sweet cake, but just like, the texture of it is kind of like a bread almost with the rice in it. Mm. I think you can roll it up like a little burrito or an omelet. Very hot to do it that way, but a little too hot to do it that way. It looks like an omelet because it looks like he put bacon and onions or something on it. But that's not what it is. Oh, onion. Yeah, you can still see the rice. I mean, it basically looks like rice inside of an omelet. And it tears apart just like an omelet would. Mm. I find that very satisfying. So much body to it, and that rice is really good. It's kind of like the concept of a crepe, but thicker, omelet style. A little bit like a potato pancake. Really good. One of the better street foods I've ever had. Okay. And taste the rice, but taste the coconut. Wow! I'm confused about one thing. In the article that Mom read to me about it, it said it would be spicy. It's not spicy at all. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's supposed to be a, like a savory, spicy omelet. It's really good. All right, but not spicy. I love the coconut. So will you taste any spicy? I don't get any spicy. We got the other two to go, and as you can see, they're rolled up just like Phil's instincts. Unagi, he's so smart. Yeah. Uh, he just asked if I liked it spicy. We came across these squids. It is like the whole squid on a stick, and they're going to grill it up for us right there. We have to go to the cashier and exchange our money for chips, and this is going to be 65,000 rupiah. That's about $4.50 USD. Thank you. Okay, let's give this squid a try. Brooklyn, you want to try some squid? Hot off the fire. Oh, and they cut it up and chopped it up for us. Excellent. I got the spicy sauce, and it has a little bit of an after spice. Like, it's not spicy at first. It grows a little bit, but it's really not that bad. Ooh, I want this part, big tentacle. But it's really good. The meat is so soft, and you just chew right through it. It's not, it's not like chewy at all. Can I gulp it? I want to find a tentacle. That one I can't really stab. I'm probably just going to bite into it, because I don't know if I can fit this whole thing in my mouth. Spicy. That's good. Oh, I like it. It's really spicy. That sauce is phenomenal. And I do think that's a really, really tasty spice. Sweet, sour, and spicy. It's just the third dimension on that sauce. I'm glad we had this much of it because it is good. This is my favorite thing we've had in Jakarta, hands down. The squid is so, so delicious. And I'm not joking when I say so far, Indonesian street food scene, 10 out of 10 for me. Everything has been phenomenal. This is the best squid I've ever had. Honestly, this is totally Brooklyn's gonna pass because she's not into spicy, but we're gonna move on because there's more for us to find and eat. This place is humongous. I got another DM from Philippine Airlines. Hi, always be changing. We apologize for the delay. We are awaiting feedback from our support team. We will message you back once we have news, which means no news. They don't know where my bag is still. Crispy baby crabs. I have never seen this before. Just like little baby ones this big. Okay, we're gonna get a salt and spicy seasoning, salt and pepper seasoning on it. And we're getting one bucket of the baby crab. Oh, okay. So we get our ticket and we wait for our number to be called, 740. They give us coins. The kids can play in the claw machine. They love claw machines. I'm going for my best shot, which is, oh my gosh, maybe? Oh, no. You know what? Maybe claw machines aren't a scam. I, I can't. I can't. Oh my gosh. They look so much bigger in person. It tastes like a cracker with salt and pepper. With all those legs, it looks like he's eating a spider. Try one. It is totally like a crab filled cracker because the legs are so, so crunchy. And the, the shell, the body, exoskeleton is so, so crunchy and thin, but then it's got a little bit of meat on the inside. This is like a snack, like 
Popcorn. This is what they eat in movie theaters here then, huh? That's good. Oh, pulled his little leg off. It's way better than popcorn shrimp or popcorn chicken. It's a little bit like eating corn nuts. It's really good, it's very satisfying. The salt and pepper flavor, I think, is the way to go. Because just that seasoning alone is all you need. I think the little ones are the best. They actually have more flavor in them. Yeah. And you get them all in your mouth in one bite. Now we're gonna get something that we did not realize originated in Indonesia. I did say Indonesia. Indonesia. 20, ooh, 20,000. 20,000. Yeah. 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 Encouraging and friendly here. It's satay, which is meat on a stick. It actually originated not just in Indonesia, but in Java, the island of Ron. And this is seafood satay. Fish, right? Or just seafood or fish? Seafood. Oh, uh, three different types of seafood. That was like a fish cake, like a fish ball, similar to the first fish ball we had in Singapore months ago. But it's really good with the sauces, it just brings out a lot of flavor. But they're so small, they're perfect little bites. This one's a little different shape. Mm. This one is tougher. It has more bite to it, like more meaty. Still has a very subtle seafood taste to it. And another very different shape. I kind of feel like it's gonna be chicken. Mm. Mm. That is fish more like a filet than like a fish cake. And it has a stronger fish taste than the other ones. Delicious. Sweet. That's good. Are they fish? The consistency of this one inside is about like a hot dog or a, a sausage. A little bit of a recurring theme today. That definitely tastes like a sweet and sour sauce to me. That one has more of a seafoody, fishy kind of taste. I definitely think I prefer the sausage based one. But I'm, I'm not trying the third one. Which one was your favorite, babe? Favorite? The first one. The balls. I like the balls the best. The concert venue is right behind me over here, if you can see it. And here's an interesting fact. Along with our trip to Bali last week, and after visiting 21 countries in two and a half years, this is our family's first time south of the equator. Well, still no new word from the airline about the missing luggage. So at this point, I think it's probably pretty much a lost cause. Luckily, we have that safety wing policy, so I think everything is gonna be okay in the end. They pay out very quickly, so I anticipate no issues there. Again, if you want to learn more about that, you can go to followabc.com slash insurance. It is such a bummer, but that's travel and you got to roll with the punches. It's still worth it to travel. I don't believe that even Indonesians can understand what they're saying. If you've seen any of our other street food episodes, you know that Brooklyn and Colt's favorite street food of all time is, of course, the super authentic... Cotton candy! Wait, one or two? One. Two, please. Two, please. Thank you. I hope he was trying to pick the smallest ones. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> kind of tastes like tea. Now I want to find something sweet for Phil and I. Phil and me. <laughs> well, it's sort of sweet. It also has a little savory. Ah, yeah. 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 yeah, we can do it. <laughs> Oopsies, I just gave them Filipino pesos. <laughs> Not for you. <laughs> Going to too many countries. It smells like a waffle. But this is not just any waffle. This is a cheese waffle. We'll see about that. There's no cheese in there. I think it's in the batter. All right, did you like it? Did you taste any cheese? I don't taste any cheese. The inside's very unique for a waffle. It's more like sponge cake. I just got a piece of cheese. I think it's chunks in there, yeah. Can I have the rest? Sure. Are you okay with that? So what they do is they take the batter and put it in the waffle iron and then put a strip of cheese in there. So there really is an entire baffled channel of cheese going through the entire thing. I'm surprised you didn't get any. Not at all. I didn't get any cheese whatsoever. Now I want to get some cheese. Look at this place. It's a double-decker. You can sit up there. Here's an interesting tidbit if you're a coffee fan. 
The Dutch in the 1600s brought coffee over into Indonesia in the Jakarta area and that's where Java came from. Coffee became a big industry here. So if you've heard coffee being referred to as Java, it's specifically Java Island. Well as the sun goes down, the temperatures go down, and hopefully the noise levels come down, we're gonna head out of here. We've been here for three hours already, believe it or not. So now we're gonna head back to our hotel because we have a very early flight in the morning. Indonesia is absolutely a must for your street food travels. Take it from us. We've really enjoyed being in this country. Can't wait to come back and spend even more time here. But now we are off. Back to Denver for a little bit and lots of travels coming up. Please be sure to subscribe.